Massive self-confidence is available to you right now. It's actually already within you. You just have to learn how to bring it out. And in today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna teach you how I became extremely self-confident, the kind that's allowed me to speak on stage to thousands of people and go down to the mall and ask complete strangers to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am going to show you how you can get that level of self-confidence in four steps today. You have to understand the difference between confidence and self self-confidence, decide to trust yourself, be willing to feel any emotion, and embrace discomfort. If you don't know me, my name's Sarah, I'm a high performance coach, and on this channel I help you take more action towards your goals and your life and your business. So let's dive in to the four steps to having massive self-confidence. Step one is to understand the difference between confidence and self-confidence. So confidence is the level of trust you have in your skills. It comes from your experience from doing something a lot. You build confidence through repetition. But self-confidence comes from your belief in your ability to figure things out, even if you've never done them before. Self-confidence isn't something that you build, it is a decision that you make. So for example, I'm really confident in my ability to coach. I have done thousands of sessions with hundreds and hundreds of people, and I know that I can do it because I have done it a lot. I have that confidence in my skills. But when I started coaching, I didn't have any of that experience and I had to have the self-confidence to know that I could figure it out, that I could learn, that I could figure out what I needed to know to be a good coach. Self-confidence is so much better than confidence because it doesn't depend on your past. It doesn't matter whether you've done something before. You can decide right now to have self-confidence. You can decide that you are going to believe in your ability to figure things out even if you've never done them before. Which brings me to step two, decide to trust yourself. Right now, in this moment, you can make the decision to trust that you will do whatever it takes to achieve your goal, no matter how hard it is. No matter how many times you feel like you've screwed up, no matter how much you didn't have confidence in your skills in the past, you don't need that. You can decide in this moment that you will trust yourself, no matter how many times you fall over on your face in front of people, no matter how hard it gets, that you are willing to do whatever it takes and back yourself. You get to make that decision right now. Doesn't it just feel so good to decide that from right now, no matter what, you are gonna have your own back. You don't have to do anything. Nothing has to happen for you to make that decision. You just get to decide it. And if you are making that decision right now to have the self-confidence, to trust yourself, to do what you need to do no matter what, then hit that like button to let me know. Okay, step three to having massive self-confidence is to be willing to feel any emotion. Because what if I told you that you can have absolutely anything you want in your life as long as you are willing to feel uncomfortable emotions in your body. Having self-confidence is not about feeling great all the time. It's about not feeling great and still showing up and still taking action towards the things that you want. That is what self-confidence is about. So I want you to think about right now what your brain might be afraid of. Really the worst case scenario that could possibly happen in your situation right now. The truth is it's not the thing that your brain is afraid of. It's not the situation. It is the emotion. Your brain is afraid of feeling the emotion in your body. The most self-confident people in the whole world are willing to feel any emotion. They're willing to sit with the vibration that is extremely uncomfortable in their body because they know it's gonna help them get what they want. So even if you feel confused or overwhelmed or angry or afraid or humiliated, if you are willing to feel that emotion and still take action and still show up, then you can get anything that you want. And that is the true self-confidence. My favorite way to allow those emotions in my body is to imagine that they're coming from a bee sting. I think about how if a bee stung me right before I was gonna make a phone call or right before I was gonna go into an important meeting or stand on stage or do something that I wanted to do, I would never let a little bee sting, I'm not allergic, so a little bee sting stop me from getting what I want. But that bee sting is gonna create some very uncomfortable sensations in my body. It's probably gonna sting a lot and it might even swell up. I might feel hot, but the difference is I would never make them mean anything about my ability to do what I wanted to do. I'd just be like, oh, those are some sensations in my body. 
that is what you have to learn to do. Just be aware of the emotions in your body and then do the thing anyway. And so if you know that maybe you're gonna have to feel anger or you know you have to feel confusion or overwhelm, but you're willing to sit and feel that vibration in your body, Let's think about it. Maybe it's a, a tightness in your chest or in your stomach. Maybe it's a buzzing in your fingers or maybe you're sweating even. If you're willing to sit and feel that, then there is nothing that you can't have in this world. And that is a huge sense of self-confidence because you know you can walk into any situation that you've never been in before and feel self-confident and know that you can handle it. And that is a great segue into step number four, embrace discomfort. Because when you get good at being uncomfortable, you get good at being in situations you haven't even been in yet. You become a natural at things you've never tried before. You have an automatic advantage because no matter what situation you're going into, you are good at being uncomfortable where everyone else feels like they need to be comfortable in that situation first. Like they have to have confidence in, this, in their skills and they have to have done it before you know that you can just walk into any situation and be comfortable because your comfort comes from your belief in your ability to be uncomfortable. One of my friends is an extreme sportsman. His name is Matheson Brown and he's currently trying to break a speed climbing record. He often does things that not only has he never done before, but no one has ever done before. And so he can't rely on a sense of confidence that he's done it because he hasn't and no one else has. He has to rely on his sense of self confidence that he can figure it out even though he's never climbed this fast before and no one in the world has he will figure out a way to do it but he can only do that by embracing discomfort and being willing to be in these extremely uncomfortable situations and one day I asked him I was like you have to do all of these crazy things as an extreme sportsman like isn't it extremely uncomfortable and he said to me it's not that I don't like being comfortable it's just that it's the lowest thing on my priority list. How good is that? It's not that he doesn't want to feel comfortable. We all want to feel comfortable. It's just that he wants his goals and his dreams more. And you have to be the same. You've got to start thinking about what you want and put it at the top of your priority list above feeling comfortable, above feeling not confused and not angry and not humiliated. You've got to allow yourself to feel those emotions and embrace the discomfort. So here's my question to you. How can you start feeling more discomfort and run towards it instead of running away from it? Let me know in the comments what you're going to do to start leaning into discomfort instead of trying to avoid it. If you want to go deeper into embracing discomfort, then check out my video that I made on overcoming your excuses. I teach you a set of tools that you can use to be extremely disciplined. So go and check out that video. I will leave it in the link in the description. All right. Those are the four steps to creating massive self-confidence. You have to understand the difference between confidence and self-confidence. You have to decide to trust yourself, be willing to feel any emotion and embrace discomfort. I wanna know which step resonated with you the most. So let me know in the comments. As always, don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you in the next video.